Today's reading begins in Jeremiah chapter 33, starting in verse 1. Moreover, the Lord's word came to Jeremiah the second time, while he was still locked up in the court of the guard, saying, The Lord who does it, the Lord who forms it to establish it, the Lord is his name, says, Call to me, and I will answer you, and will show you great and difficult things which you don't know. For the Lord, the God of Israel, says concerning the houses of the city and concerning the houses of the kings of Judah, which are broken down to make a defense against the mounds and against the sword, while men come to fight with the Chaldeans and to fill them with the dead bodies of men, whom I have killed in my anger and in my wrath, and for all whose wickedness I have hidden my face from in this city, behold, I will bring it health and healing, and I will cure them, and I will reveal to them abundance of peace and truth. I will restore the fortunes of Judah and Israel, and will build them as at the first. I will cleanse them from all their iniquity by which they have sinned against me. I will pardon all their iniquities by which they have sinned against me and by which they have transgressed against me. This city will be to me for a name of joy, for praise and for glory before all the nations of the earth, which will hear all the good that I do to them, and will fear and tremble for all the good and for all the peace that I provide to it. The Lord says, Yet again there will be heard in this place, about which you say, It is waste, without man and without animal, even in the cities of Judah, and in the streets of Jerusalem that are desolate, without man and without inhabitant and without animal, the voice of joy and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, the voice of those who say, Give thanks to the Lord of armies, for the Lord is good, for his loving kindness endures forever, who brings thanksgiving into the Lord's house. For I will cause the captivity of the land to be reversed, as at the first, says the Lord. The Lord of armies says, Yet again there will be in this place, which is waste, without man and without animal, and in all its cities a habitation of shepherds causing their flocks to lie down. In the cities of the hill country, in the cities of the lowland, in the cities of the south, in the land of Benjamin, in the places around Jerusalem, and in the cities of Judah, the flocks will again pass under the hands of him who counts them, says the Lord. Behold, the days come, says the Lord, that I will perform that good word which I have spoken concerning the house of Israel and concerning the house of Judah. In those days and at that time, I will cause a branch of righteousness to grow up to David. He will execute justice and righteousness in the land. In those days, Judah will be saved, and Jerusalem will dwell safely. This is the name by which she will be called, the Lord our righteousness. For the Lord says, David will never lack a man to sit on the throne of the house of Israel. The Levitical priests won't lack a man before me to offer burnt offerings, to burn meal offerings, and to do sacrifice continually. The Lord's word came to Jeremiah, saying, The Lord says, If you can break my covenant of the day and my covenant of the night, so that there will not be day and night in their time, then my covenant could also be broken with David my servant, that he won't have a son to reign on his throne, and with the Levitical priests my ministers. As the army of the sky can't be counted, and the sand of the sea can't be measured, so I will multiply the offspring of David my servant and the Levites who minister to me. The Lord's word came to Jeremiah, saying, Don't consider what this people has spoken, saying, Has the Lord cast off the two families which he chose? Thus they despise my people, that they should be no more a nation before them. The Lord says, If my covenant of day and night fails, if I have not appointed the ordinances of heaven and earth, then I will also cast away the offspring of Jacob and of David my servant, so that I will not take of his offspring to be rulers over the offspring of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, for I will cause their captivity to be reversed, and will have mercy on them. The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord, when Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon, with all his army, all the kingdoms of the earth that were under his dominion, and all the peoples, were fighting against Jerusalem and against all its cities, saying, The Lord, the God of Israel, says, Go and speak to Zedekiah king of Judah, and tell him, The Lord says, Behold, I will give this city into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he will burn it with fire. You won't escape out of his hand, but will surely be taken and delivered into his hand. 
Your eyes will see the eyes of the king of Babylon, and he will speak with you mouth to mouth. You will go to Babylon. Yet hear the Lord's word, O Zedekiah king of Judah. The Lord says concerning you, You won't die by the sword. You will die in peace, and with the burnings of your fathers, the former kings who were before you, so they will make a burning for you. They will lament you, saying, Ah, Lord, for I have spoken the word, says the Lord. Then Jeremiah the prophet spoke all these words to Zedekiah king of Judah in Jerusalem, when the king of Babylon's army was fighting against Jerusalem, and against all the cities of Judah that were left, against Lachish and against Azekah, for these alone remained of the cities of Judah as fortified cities. The word came to Jeremiah from the Lord, after King Zedekiah had made a covenant with all the people who were at Jerusalem, to proclaim liberty to them, that every man should let his male servant, and every man his female servant, who was a Hebrew or a Hebrewess, go free, that no one should make bondservants of them, of a Jew his brother. All the princes and all the people obeyed who had entered into the covenant, that every one should let his male servant and every one his female servant go free, that no one should make bondservants of them any more. They obeyed and let them go, but afterwards they turned, and caused the servants and the handmaids whom they had let go free to return, and brought them into subjection for servants and for handmaids. Therefore the Lord's word came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, The Lord, the God of Israel, says, I made a covenant with your fathers in the day that I brought them out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage, saying, At the end of seven years, every man of you shall release his brother who is a Hebrew, who has been sold to you, and has served you six years. You shall let him go free from you. But your fathers didn't listen to me, and didn't incline their ear. You had now turned, and had done that which is right in my eyes, in every man proclaiming liberty to his neighbor. You had made a covenant before me in the house which is called by my name. But you turned and profaned my name, and every man caused his servant, and every man his handmaid, whom you had let go free at their pleasure, to return. You brought them into subjection, to be to you for servants and for handmaids. Therefore the Lord says, You have not listened to me, to proclaim liberty, every man to his brother, and every man to his neighbor. Behold, I proclaim to you a liberty, says the Lord, to the sword, to the pestilence, and to the famine. I will make you be tossed back and forth amongst all the kingdoms of the earth. I will give the men who have transgressed my covenant, who have not performed the words of the covenant which they made before me, when they cut the calf in two and passed between its parts, the princes of Judah, the princes of Jerusalem, the eunuchs, the priests, and all the people of the land, who passed between the parts of the calf. I will even give them into the hand of their enemies, and into the hand of those who seek their life. Their dead bodies will be food for the birds of the sky, and for the animals of the earth. I will give Zedekiah king of Judah and his princes into the hands of their enemies, into the hands of those who seek their life, and into the hands of the king of Babylon's army, who has gone away from you. Behold, I will command, says the Lord, and cause them to return to this city. They will fight against it, take it, and burn it with fire. I will make the cities of Judah a desolation, without inhabitant." The first letter of Paul to Timothy, chapter 4, starting in verse 1. But the Spirit says expressly that in later times some will fall away from the faith, paying attention to seducing spirits and doctrines of demons through the hypocrisy of men who speak lies, branded in their own conscience as with a hot iron, forbidding marriage, and commanding to abstain from foods which God created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good, and nothing is to be rejected if it is received with thanksgiving, for it is sanctified through the word of God and prayer. If you instruct the brothers of these things, you will be a good servant of Christ Jesus, nourished in the words of the faith and of the good doctrine which you have followed. But refuse profane and old wives' fables. Exercise yourself towards godliness. For bodily exercise has some value, but godliness has value in all things, having the promise of the life which is now and of that which is to come. This saying is faithful and worthy of all acceptance. For to this end we both labor and suffer reproach, because we have set our trust in the living God, who is the Savior of all men, especially of those who believe. Command and teach these things. Let no man despise your youth, but be an example to those who believe, in word, in your way of life, in love, in spirit, in faith, and in purity. Until I come, pay attention to reading, to exhortation, and to teaching. 
don't neglect the gift that is in you, which was given to you by prophecy with the laying on of the hands of the elders. Be diligent in these things. Give yourself wholly to them, that your progress may be revealed to all. Pay attention to yourself and to your teaching. Continue in these things, for in doing this you will save both yourself and those who hear you. Psalm 89, beginning in verse 1, I will sing of the loving kindness of the Lord forever. With my mouth I will make known your faithfulness to all generations. I indeed declare, love stands firm forever. You establish the heavens, your faithfulness is in them. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant, I will establish your offspring forever, and build up your throne to all generations. The heavens will praise your wonders, Lord, your faithfulness also in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies can be compared to the Lord? Who amongst the sons of the heavenly beings is like the Lord, a very awesome God in the counsel of the holy ones, to be feared above all those who are around him? Lord, God of armies, who is a mighty one like you? The Lord, your faithfulness is around you. You rule the pride of the sea. When its waves rise up, you calm them. You have broken Rahab in pieces like one of the slain. You have scattered your enemies with your mighty arm. The heavens are yours, the earth also is yours, the world and its fullness. You have founded them, you have created the north and the south. Tabor and Hermon rejoice in your name. You have a mighty arm, your hand is strong, and your right hand is exalted. Proverbs chapter 25, beginning in verse 23. The north wind produces rain, so a backbiting tongue brings an angry face, it is better to dwell in the corner of the housetop than to share a house with a contentious woman. Mm -hmm.